are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diary. Hello! <ride> non è proprio divertente come posizione. No, poverino. Oh, che magia! È caduto qualcosa addosso. The cobwebs, that's 35 years of cobwebs behind there. Lots of wood for Carlo to play with. The room is so much bigger without the kitchen in it. Think of all the possibilities. <laughs> Unfortunately, we really need a kitchen. I think we all know that Carlo will find some good use for all of that wood. He will be making all sorts of things from that, no doubt. So that will be going in the basement. I'm coming out here to talk to you because it's actually stopped for a moment. The aim is to try and get that big marble slab, the counter, out in one piece without breaking it, because then we could potentially give it to somebody else or it could be used for something else. But it is um, incastrated, is that a word in English? It is right in the wall, incastrated. Oh, I'm going to have to check that. It's, it's sort of embedded in the wall, so he doesn't know if he's going to be able to pull it out in one go or not. That's what he's aiming to do today. I am sitting in here editing and they've just brought some marble out. Put it in two pieces there. Let's go and have a look. Ti stanno mettendo a lavoro? Sì, ogni tanto. Kitchen pop. Bye bye. No, ti do. Not really recognizable, is it? If you're wondering about the white and gray patches, these were the original tiles down here. And two or three years ago, I painted, well, the bits that we could see, I painted white with the tile paint. So it's a bit of a mismatch now. Guarda dei posti dove dove uno non può andare a pulire, che succede nella casa? Un vero schifo totale. Noi ci ammazziamo a pulire tutto il resto della casa, ma poi qua dietro ci stanno i ragni, i mostri, le cose strane. And now it's time to knock down the wall. Unfortunately, I have to leave and go and pick up Lily, who's been at the vets. So we had to take Lily to vets the other day. I explained the other morning, but then I took it out of last week's video because we hadn't had any results yet. So I didn't want to leave you on a cliffhanger. So I'm going to cut back to the bit where I was explaining what had happened with Lily. And then I will fill you in once I'm at the vet and once I've got her. But, um, some of you noticed in the last video that Lily was limping. Now, we thought something was wrong with her leg and we'd been checking her leg and feeling it. and We couldn't find anything that hurt or anything that felt wrong. Um, so we thought, well, maybe she just j landed funny when she jumped out of a tree or something um, and didn't think much of it. And then on my birthday, Skye was giving Lily some extra fuss. 
and felt further up than her leg. It turns out she's got a huge, huge tumour. It's pretty much taken over her whole chest area, her whole shoulder. Even the vet, when we took her to the vet, said, Mamma mia, it's massive. And um, she's at the vets now. She stayed there overnight. They're doing a biopsy. But unfortunately, it doesn't look good. Now, Lily, we've had her for nearly 14 years. Um, we got her when Skye was five years old. So Skye's very upset. And I just don't think there's not much that can be done about it. It's just something that, and of course I feel terrible because I didn't notice this beforehand. And the thing with Lily is that she's a very pretty cat. She's a very calm cat. And she's not the sort of cat that sits on you. She's the sort of cat that comes and sits next to you. And then because she's so white and fluffy, you just stroke her and just do that. So we don't really pick her up and have her sitting on us. And um, we just missed it. I don't know how long it's been there for. Um, and I feel absolutely terrible that we didn't find it maybe earlier when something could have been done. Quite conveniently, the cat travel box fits in Holly's little bed. She's not particularly happy about it. Let's go home. Hello, oh, Holly Poo. Where are you? Look, there's Lily. Say hello, Lily. Did Lily come home? Yeah. <laughs> Lily. I'm going to put her in the other room. Let's see what's happening in here. Wow. Abbiamo fatto quasi una metà. Adesso viene la parte più difficile. Spostare i tubi dell'acqua perché prima il lavandino stava lì. Adesso il lavandino deve andare lì. Quindi dovrò fare un po' l'idraulico. Vediamo un po' se uh, affoghiamo la casa di acqua. Si <laughs> prego, no. And these are the original floor tiles of this house. Actually, they're still in the small bathroom. But this is what we covered up with wood. And now we have to add a bit more wood because it's, uh, well, it's going to be a bit missing here. And that's over here, ready to be laid. Hopefully, it won't be too hard. So Lily is back with us. She's had part of her leg shaved and you can sort of see here this big bulge and it goes all around this side as well and then it goes right up. Oh dear, doesn't seem to bother you, does it? And that doesn't seem to bother you either too much. <laughs> Lily, meet Indy. Indy, this is Lily. You have to be gentle with her because she's a little bit old and grumpy compared to you. Day number two of not having a kitchen and I am attempting to make lunch without a kitchen and have Elizabeth and her family coming over for lunch, which is probably not the greatest idea um, when you haven't got a kitchen. <laughs> so uh, the kitchen is now completely empty. In fact, let me show you. Carla is patching up some of the holes there. He's moved the water pipe which was here because the sinks were in the corner, but we're gonna move the sink in front of the window. So he's had to move the water pipes and put them there. And now he's obviously just patching up all the holes. That's the hole from the old, um, what's it called? The thing that sucks the steam from the oven. Hello. And uh, yes, that's it. 
So while that is happening in there, I am out here. I've managed to, oh, bright sunshine. I've managed to recuperate half a table outside, which is good. The other half is turned into a work surface. Um, we've got everything, including the kitchen sink out here. And I'm going to see if I can uncover the barbecue because it's got a gas ring on it and maybe I can cook there, which would be nice to cook outside. I'm going to make a lentil bolognese. Um, so I'm just gonna fry up the onion, carrot and celery. And then um, at some point I'll add lentils and tomato sauce. And here's that little happy puppy. What have you got? Have you been, you've got up on the chair and you've stolen my celery. You're a naughty puppy. Not for you. There's the other one there, watching over her. Yes? If you can hear voices, it's Luther and Mabel. They're both doing some gardening nearby and having a chat. So tomorrow I'm going back to Via Trisumare, which is where the ceramics, ceramics, ceramics are made. And uh, I ordered some tiles, obviously, last time we were there, a couple of weeks ago. He's now made a, um, a few, four test tiles. So I ended up not choosing a design that they had there, but copying something that I'd seen on the internet and then adapting it with colours to how I wanted it to be. So the colours he's shown me, because he's done like the little test one, it's not quite right. So I think the best thing for me to do is go there so I can talk to him face to face and get it exactly how I want it. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. You can give your dogs all the toys in the world, but they either just want to sleep like Holly does, or they are perfectly happy with a stick from the garden. So that is done. I just need to add the pasta and then cook it for as long as the pasta needs to be cooked. I'll do that when Elizabeth and everyone is here. Nice and easy recipe. It can all be done in one pot and it is in my new book that I'm still working on. <laughs> Pepe and Elizabeth have arrived, so we now have an extra hand, which is handy because now they can move the big marble slab, which will probably live at the end of the garden for the rest of our days. Oh, no, in the chicken coop it goes. Interesting. Can you imagine how on earth they got that down 500 steps from the road to here? Now it's lunchtime for Indy, so lessons. <laughs> she's teaching her to sit. She's pretty much got it when she's eating. She knows she has to be seated. Hot. <laughs> Apparently we're going to have bad weather tomorrow, so Carla's trying to get everything down into the basement. This is rather large, I'm not sure what the plan is, but he's got help. That's important. <laughs> Absolute chaos. <laughs> Good morning, it is bright and early and I'm taking Holly out for a walk. Sky's at home with Indy. 
Carlo is laying the floor in the kitchen, the bits that are missing from where we've taken away the kitchen counters. Obviously we didn't put the flooring underneath them when we did it. So he's having to add some extra flooring there so it's all even. And I need to go to Vietri this morning and have a look at the tiles that have been done for me. I need to see them in real life because I need to check that the colors are exactly what I ordered. And I thought I would bring Holly with me so she can have some little time off from the little monster that we have currently running havoc in our house. And while I'm walking, I just wanted to address the fact that I've had a few comments from people saying that we are extremely mean because we are replacing our old dog with a new dog and how unfair to Holly and what awful people we are and all that sort of stuff. Well, obviously people can assume whatever they want, but I always say don't ever imagine or guess that you know exactly what is going on in some other person's life. Just because you see maybe 20, 30 minutes of my week online, it doesn't mean that you see everything that we do and everything that happens in our lives. So for the last five weeks, since we, since the, since we met the puppies, we've considered very carefully whether it would be okay to bring another one into the household or not. We slowly, slowly got Holly to come with us and meet the puppies and interact with them to see how she was with them. Over the last couple of weeks, we have also been bringing Indy home with us just for like half an hour or an hour. And the bonus is that the puppies were all next door. So it was very, very simple to do. And we would bring Holly, uh, Indy home with us and watch how Holly and Indy inter interacted together in the garden, in the house, to see if there was any jealousy there. And there hasn't been. Holly is more than happy. She's been playing like a little puppy herself. Um, the cats are totally uninterested in whatsoever. They couldn't care less whether there's another animal in the house or not. They're completely ignoring her. Um, but if there was any signs that Holly was miserable or upset, we would never have got another dog. So just consider that if you are thinking that we have been very unfair to Holly, we have not. We've considered it very, very carefully. Holly is almost better off with more company. It means that she's got somebody to play with, somebody to sleep with. Yes, they've been sleeping together and in the daytime, Indy's being crated in the nighttime. It's all going fine. So we're not mean, horrible, awful people replacing our old dog with a new dog. We are just people who want to be a two dog family. And if you look around, you'll see that there's lots and lots of people that have two or even more dogs. And I'm sure they didn't get them all at exactly the same time. And I just thought I'd take Holly up for a walk in the hills and then she can have a settle and a nice rest in the car with no young distractions. I've been meaning to mention this for the last three videos, the chickens. Elizabeth, uh, Rosie and Lainey have a little message for you. Let me pass you on to them for a second. Ciao, buongiorno. Volevamo darvi un update per uh, Polly e la sua sorella e che sta benissimo da noi. Oh. Polly ha trovato tante nuove amiche e sta bene da noi. Così hanno deciso di rimanere con mm. noi. Ciao. Ciao. Yes, so basically the chickens are going to stay with them for now. Uh, we've loved having the chickens and I really, really enjoy it. And I probably will either bring them back or maybe get other ones at some point. But the reason they're at Elizabeth's, if you're not sure, is because we went to England for a month and we put them in with her chickens. They actually settled in really well. They've got lots of friends now. Polly's got a boyfriend. We might have baby Polly's at some point. And when we went there to pick them up, which we forgot to film, I think I showed it on Instagram, but I didn't show it on YouTube. I couldn't catch her. She was having none of it. She didn't seem to even remember me. I don't know how long chickens' memories are, but a month away and she had no idea who I was. She didn't come to me anymore. So for now, we're gonna leave them there and they're perfectly happy and in good company. Adesso siamo pronti per iniziare a posare il pavimento. Ho dovuto fare delle modifiche perché non combaciano, però sono due differenti tipi di parquet. Vediamo di farlo andare comunque insieme. Il risultato lo vedete alla fine.
I'm back in the tile factory. He's just gone to get the test tiles and then we can talk about colours. So originally I was going to go with this pattern here. But then when we put it together and we duplicated it, all these funny little tribal looking faces suddenly appeared. Look, there's one there. You can see the eyes and like a purple nose and a blue moustache at the bottom. And then there was other little faces as well in it. So we decided maybe it was a bit too busy and full of faces. So we changed our mind and I ended up making something, which I'm not really going to show you, but there's just a little bit of it there, is the colour chart. Now, I know that is very mean of me to not show you, but I'm not going to see what it looks like until it's up on the wall either, so we're all going to have to wait together. It's going to be a couple of weeks, I'm afraid. And I'm back home, and the floor, which is currently covered, but let me show you, is now all patched up. There, you can, you can see where it was covered. It's slightly different coloured tiles, obviously, because this has been here for nine years, so it's a slightly different colour now. <laughs> Covering the tiles. Mm -hmm. okay. As you can tell by my attempts to paint them white, allora praticamente qui dovranno essere messe le mattonelle però uh, arriveranno molto dopo la cucina quindi c'ho tempo faccio diventare tutto bianco così una volta posizionata la cucina sarà un solo colore almeno al di sopra al di sotto non ci importa perché verrà nascosto dalla, dai mobili don't miss next week's video where we will be bringing a whole brand new kitchen down 500 steps how on earth are we going to get this done? Tune in next week to find out. Thank you for watching.